I was impressed. <laughs> oh, well, that's always a good thing when the doctor is impressed. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Look at what we're doing here. We have Jenny Bellinger tonight, the direct sales dom. Yes, <laughs> with my writing crop and all, because, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to... Uh, burst the story or burst the bubble of how awesome the story is. But um, I was thinking earlier and saying in one of my trainings that you told me the story, how you had a different marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. And when you changed to this, it changed everything. 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 It's Is it because it's just a slightly like suggestive or what, what do you think? Uh, I, I think it's the fun. You know, um, because my previous branding was level up, which, it's yeah, people want to level up, but yeah, it's really generic. In fact, it's so generic that I know that there are 49 other level up coaching businesses oh. in the United States, one LLC for every state. Oh. And so, you know, I, but we all have different people that we coach and whatever, but still it wasn't you know, I just wasn't standing out amongst the crowd, you know, and I also didn't have pur purple hair back then. But um, when <laughs> I launched the podcast, I was like, well, the podcast is going to be fun. It's just an arm of my business. Well, it took off so much that I was like, well, I would be an idiot to not rebrand, like to completely go just, you know what? Because then I had people who were like, what's this level of coach thing I see like with your name? You know, they, you know, anybody who was starting to associate, so people started associating me with the badass more than the level up. So I went with it because that's what you go it, in marketing. You go where people are attracted. That's true. You know, that's, you, true. Matter of fact, that's why I'm still blue. <laughs> I'm, right. Right. I'm going almost a year now. <laughs> I was going to say, it, well, it's got to be slightly longer than that because I was having you guys on my show. It was about this time last year that I interviewed you. And I think you've been blue hair for a, a little bit before then. Well, least. it's, it's, um, I was blue when I first, uh, when I first met Jeff, we first had that conversation uh, and he said that would make a good book, but I didn't keep it. I only had it for like five weeks because it was supposed oh. to be, a like something shock and I did out of the blue kind of thing. I just, that was the only time in my life I had a wild color hair. And then oh. <laughs> one, it was a year and something later before we did the book. Right. And then oh, I didn't okay. immediately do my hair. Um, I said to him, you know, I'm going to have to go, go back, back to being blue, blue for, for a at least while. the launch. And, and I said, I, I'm thinking at least a year. And he said, oh, no, you don't have to do that. You can just take pictures of it. And I'm like, oh, no, you don't you don't understand me. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you haven't known me long enough to know when I'm in, I'm in. And right, I'm in, so I'm already in. So, um, but now uh, it's been such a magnet. Man, <laughs> man, man. Well, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, the purple hair works too. So, yeah, well, that. you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do, yeah. I do. You know, it's no. funny. The um, I, you know, I was telling you about the date nap, everybody knows I was doing that, but anyway, uh, <laughs> the uh. <laughs> You, you end up having nicknames for all the guys because half the time you don't know their name and stuff. And they do for us, too. The guys have for the girls, too. Oh, of a course. Couple, a couple of them, like, said, hey, Blue. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm actually glad of that nickname because <laughs> there are other things less flattering they could be calling me. <laughs> I'm good Super true. Yeah. <laughs> Super true. They could be calling you worse, worse things, right? Because, yeah. I mean, this harkens back to, like, what is it, Friends, you know, the... <laughs> the friends episode where they were talking about ex-boyfriends and, <laughs> well, they, right? and they had the nicknames for them. Right. <laughs> yeah. And my guess is, is that maybe there's the possibility that men might be a little more crude in their nicknaming of, right. the, of the, the women. Cause they're less likely to remember their real names anyway. I mean, the the hilarious story I have about my life partner is the first night that we met. He he looked me up the next day and he he 
wasn't a hundred percent sure that my name was Jenny, but he thought it was something like that. So he was searching for me on the <laughs> app. <laughs> Going, God, I hope there's a Jennifer. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Women my age, is there a Jennifer? There's gotta be at least a hundred thousand oh, of us on that app. <laughs> at least. Oh my god. So yeah, the <laughs> He wasn't quite sure of my name, but at least he, he wasn't called uh, to my, uh, uh, now I'm going to have to ask him until oh, you yeah. knew for sure. My name was Jenny. What were you calling me in your head? <laughs> well, see, this is why I give them an option that works. See, just calling me blue that, that works. <laughs> and I did. Yeah. And you know how on Seinfeld, like he would quit seeing people for stupid reasons. Like one toe was longer than the other or something like that. <laughs> I'm like that too. I had one guy that said, um, what do you think your hair, your next color is going to be? I'm like, oh no, 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 I'm, I'm staying blue. And he's like, I'm thinking you should do this. Well, that was, that was enough for him. <laughs> he didn't get, he didn't get a, a casting call back. He didn't no. Get yeah. <laughs> There's no second interview. Thank you, sir. <laughs> One audition. That's it. Sorry. Yeah. I released him back from whence he came yeah. out back into the wild. <laughs> Unhook him from the fishing line. You're going back. <laughs> <laughs> environmentally friendly yeah yeah catch and release sorry that's you didn't that's quite fit the, the book, parameter right? <laughs> oh, God. oh that's pretty good <laughs> oh my God, oh, we have too much I, fun with this now how did you you've got a new program coming out I do. I do. Um, I had had enough people asking me and especially leaders uh, that I've been working with for about the last couple of years saying, you know, you've been so much help to me. How could you help my team? What what could happen? You know, what could go on because with that? Because you were so, doing coaching. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I, I still do. I still do yep. coaching. But I, my goal with my business, my mission has always been to reach a, to positively impact 100,000 direct sales representatives especially moms oh, that'd be right hard one at a time right that's right. really hard one at a time or yeah. my my largest group up until recently was 12 so doing 12 at a time still 100,000 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna It'll be doing this from the grave uh, <laughs> they're gonna be Ouija boarding me for coaching <laughs> if I still went at 12 um, so so I started talking to people and realized that I had quite a bit of knowledge that I could share through a really simple program that would allow me to help people grow a little bit more organically, a little bit at a pace that they could handle. Because some of the reasons that people were telling me they didn't want to coach is because they were afraid that maybe I was going to push them a little too hard, too fast. And here they are already a mom working a full-time job or a part-time job. And they... It, they didn't have the time or the capacity, especially mentally, to think about doing a massive push in their business. And I was like, okay, so if I could come up with something that maybe gave you a little bit of help every single week, would that be attractive to you? And people were like, Ooh, yes, that does sound nice. Okay, cool. And what if you could have a call, one call with me per month in a group, ask me anything you want. I don't care. Ask me anything, literally anything, and I'll answer it. Would that be attractive? And they're like, yes, that also sounds good. <laughs> and I said, and what if we had a group chat where we could do some accountability in between the sessions? You put in in the morning, hey, today I'm going to make three calls or I'm going to reach out to three people or I'm going to do the business opportunity to two people. And then at the end of the day, we go, did you do the thing? Would that be attractive to you? And said yes and i said okay so if i built you something that gave you a little bit of training with some act, act with an activity a call with me and accountability you'd be up for it and they said yes and i said great how much would you pay for it <laughs> <laughs> you know because i was like i this i can build i can build this i can i can work for one hour a month that's easy enough to do right but, you know you're smart um asking first and then building second yes i see too many people and this is books too. They write mm -hmm. a book or they come out with a program or whatever it is with no idea of who's going to buy. Right. And I think right. you have to almost do it backwards from that. You have oh, to know you who you're selling to first. Yeah. You absolutely yeah. have to do it the other way around. And you know how I know that? Cause I've, I've 
done it where I created a program and went, hey, who wants to buy the thing? And everyone's like, that's cute. Thanks. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, and that's true okay. with books, too. That's true yeah. with books. Yeah. It, it, it can yeah. be true with all kinds of things. So yeah. so this time I, I listened to my coach because, yes, <laughs> the coach. Great coaches have great coaches. Um, and my coach said, well, go find what do what do people want? What do they need? And and given with what's going on in the economy right now, there were a lot of people. There are a lot of people who don't think they can afford coaching. So to be able to say, hey, I've got a program that includes a little bit of coaching, a little bit of training, a little bit of accountability, just enough to get you going. So it's it's a slow growth model is the point. It is meant to help people grow so that they can double or triple their sales over the course of a year, right? Nice. Now, if they want to go faster, they can. They just do a little bit more, right? And that happens in between. So I call the program the Sales Accelerator, you know, because on, on a gas pedal, <clears throat> you can either gently push down or you can slam it all the way to the metal, right? <laughs> Um, so this allows people to go at their own pace, basically, and they're going to have 52 mini trainings, all of that one a week, 12 calls over the course of the year and accountability every single day that they want it. Well, that's awesome. So, that's yeah. Good. And you know what I think is the best part about that is I don't know. I'm not, I don't want to speak for anybody else, but some of the people listening might have this too. I've never done coaching because I find it intimidating one-on-one. Mm. -on -one. At least this yeah. isn't, this is really not one-on-one. -on -one. This is. No, this yeah. will be group. Yeah. It'll be group coaching, group Q and A. Um, although and during once the experience that, then if that isn't like, like weird, you could do the one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, exactly. They can they can move up if they want to. And so what I as I've been building this, so I've been taking input from the people who are already participating because I've already launched the beta group mm -hmm. and I'm getting information from them saying, hey, this is good or, you know, that activity was meh. <clears throat> so meh, it's OK, you know, but other people liked it, so <laughs> you know. You kind of see where well, you everybody have to take is a whole that. bunch of people's opinions, not just right. one anyway. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And that's why that's why I, I said I want like 100 beta testers. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I'm still taking people into the beta program. And so I, what I wanted to do was offer it to your network, because remember when I asked everybody what they would pay for it, everybody to a T, every single person I asked that question of said mm, around 100 bucks a month. And I was like. Cool. Good to know. And so that's what it's going to be when I launch full force. Once I know that everything is working the way it's supposed to, once I know that all the activities are high quality, it's what it's helping, right? We're getting results. So it's going to be a hundred bucks a month then. But right now, because I'm still taking beta testers, I'm offering it to your organization. Anybody who's here in the blue hair brigade for 47 a month Ooh. so that they can pop in start getting those sales trainings and then oh, get on a perfect. group coaching call. The group coaching call goes up to a hundred. Once we hit a hundred, then I have to figure out what I'm going to do. <laughs> to now that's why the coupon code says 47. Yes. Yes. That's why that's the coupon perfect. code. Yes. It's 47. So that way you guys can remember that's exactly how much it's going to be. So the link is this little banner down here. It's badassdirectsalesmastery.com forward slash product. Now, this is not a sales page because I am still building this out. I don't have a sales page yet, meaning, you know, one of those things that gives you all the information and, you know, it's like you're scrolling and scrolling right, and scrolling right. and there's 17 buttons saying buy now as you scroll through it. Right. I don't have that built yet because I don't have the testimonials yet. I don't have. Right. So this is literally just for people who are willing to say, I want to try this out. I'm willing to be a guinea pig. I'm willing to give Jenny my feedback and say, this is great. Or this one could be better, <laughs> you know, or I'd like it if you did this. I had somebody who joined the program um, a couple weeks ago and she gave me a suggestion today and I think it's brilliant. And so I'm going to implement it. I just oh, have nice. to figure out when and where and how. <laughs> and you know, this is kind of perfect timing because most of my crew is uh, Avon, even the ones that aren't in my downline. Most of my friends are Avon. And they just came out with the trip that we work on for a year. And it's a cruise. 
So we all have our numbers we have to hit. So ladies and gentlemen in the audience, <laughs> listen to this. This this would be a good way if we all got in this together and all earned the cruise together because of it. Oh we, my. Yeah. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. I love going on their trips. They're so awesome. It, this will be the one of the first times. No, no, I, that's lying. This will be like the fifth time I've earned it for personal sales. I usually earn it for my team, but that they're not having that option at the moment. So oh. um, I'll be out there hustling too. Hustling and, just like everybody else. <laughs> yeah, right. Not wrong And using, that. of course, the seven rules from of the course, book, of, of course, because, <laughs> duh. Oh, yes, indeed. So, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, no, I think that's fantabulous. Now, I want to share a really cool statistic with you, though, Lisa. So across the board in the world of direct sales, network marketing, and MLM, mm -hmm. um, anytime a company offers an incentive such as a trip, the numbers vary company to company, but I've never seen anything higher than like 6%. 6% mm -hmm. of people in the company earn the trip. Yeah. Now, of the people who have come to me to work with me specifically with the purpose of saying, okay, my goal of working with you is to earn the trip. That number increases to 33%. No. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> So if That's you want good. the incentive trip, if you want to go on the cruise, this could be the starter way that yeah. you get going. And this is that. so non-threatening, no non-intimidating, because we'll yeah. all be in a group doing this together exactly. rather than, I, I don't know why the one-on-one -on -one coaching is like, you know what, I guess I'm afraid of people judging what I do. Isn't that crazy? Because that's not what the huh. coach does. No, exactly. Not at all. I, right. I, I am not judgmental. I'm like, hey, your business, your life. I get paid whether you do it or not. <laughs> no, it's, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of weird about that if you think about it. Because like when I was coming up with the marketing for the book, anything that I thought Jeff might have an objection of, I just didn't tell him. I did it anyway. <laughs> I know. I know. And I thought once it works, he won't care. You know, <laughs> so I got to do it. <laughs> you are not alone with that. I I've got to be honest. Um, so I also <clears throat> one of my largest clients is a, a networking organization that I will just leave at that. Anybody who listens to my podcast knows exactly what network networking organization I'm talking about. OK. And um, so I am I work as a trainer for them. They've hired me to train because that is my superpower. I can mm -hmm. train like no other to help people understand things. And every once in a while, they'll hand me a training and go, go here's the training. So here's the PowerPoint. Here's the handouts. And I tweak it. <laughs> and then oh, yes. they come and watch it. And they're like, oh, I don't remember that being there. And I'm like, cause it wasn't, I added it because <laughs> you hired a girl with purple hair and tattoos. Like I can't, <laughs> I can't do the norm. Okay. And I know that in order for this training to be most effective, it needs to have this element for people to really walk away with X, Y, or Z, depending have you on ever the had that ha I've had people bring me in to an event pay me a lot of money, pay the hotel airfare and everything. And then at the last minute say, instead of talking about the specialty that you know everything about, would you mind discussing fundraising or something like that? And I'm like, you do know I know nothing about that. And they're like, oh, well, we've got this deck you can read. And I think, do you honestly think people came to hear me talk about something I know nothing about mm -hmm. and that always surprised me when people did that so you know what i did i get up there and did my regular presentation <laughs> anyway. and, then, and then they came up like mad and i'm like oh man i'm sorry i forgot i just got <laughs> nervous on stage <laughs> i did <laughs> i know that sounds that sounds like that wouldn't work but it worked, but here, <laughs> it worked. But, here's the, but here's the thing they hired you for one thing like they pulled the bait and switch I, they I, pulled the I just couldn't even switch. believe they they asked me because I virtually knew nothing. Not I ne I don't do fundraising because 
what fundraising, in my opinion, is giving some organization your profits, which is nothing wrong with that. But right. I'm in this uh, supporting a family. I don't do fundraising because I need the profits. Yeah. So I don't I don't do things that are going to give all my profits to someone else. So I have don't do fundraisers and they wanted me to talk on it. And it's like, why? <laughs> I don't know. That's like having the yeah. Pope talk about being Hindu. I don't, <laughs> well, it's not that I'm the, I didn't mean it that right. way, but no, you know what I, I mean? No, I get, I totally get At what you're I saying. I have right. some idea of the other thing I'm talking about. <laughs> right? Like, it's just, what? <laughs> I, yeah, I, I. And it happened I more than imagine. once too. So. That never happened to you? That, I uh, not lucky. yet. Knock on knock on wood. Um, the things I've been hired to go talk about is exactly what they wanted me to talk about. Yeah. So, I mean, for example, um, in a couple of weeks, I'm actually going on the podcasters cruise and mm, they yeah. have, they've, they're bringing me on to teach podcasters how to monetize their show. Oh, awesome. Cause and you went on that last year, right? Were, um, well, uh, I went on the marketers cruise last oh, year. Oh, well, that's right. So, okay, that's right. Yeah. So that's all online marketers, right? And then this one is very specifically just podcasters. Podcast. Now, I'm awesome. in two months going on the marketers cruise again because it's amazing. And thank you, Uncle Sam. I get to write them both off as business trips because they are. Yeah. <laughs> to go on a cruise and write it that's off. That's always I mean, good. <laughs> hallelujah. I love being an entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> and, and hello to Teresa Staples is on. She's right here near me, about an hour from me in New Hampshire. Um, oh, yeah. We have Facebook users saying, good evening, ladies, with three blue hearts. So that's got to be somebody who is in on the on the, the, uh, know the, blue the thing heart. here. Blue hair yeah, thing, and then yeah. Facebook users saying hi. And Janet Leonard, who's over in Ireland, says, hi, ladies. Hello, yes. Janet. And then another Facebook user says, nice beta pricing, 47. That's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to post this in the group, too, about the uh, coupon code. Um, but if you have team, oh, it's Kem, Kem Gilmore, one of my oh. superstars in my uh, downline. So, Fantastic. Yay. Hi, but, Kem. <laughs> I'm going to put that out because I think that would be a great way for us. Matter of fact, Kem's working on the cruise with me. Um, Kem earned her first Avon trip to Hawaii. And within, she wasn't even in a rep a year and earned her first trip. She did a fabulous job. That's um, amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Know that you are now part of like the 6% club, Kem. Like, seriously, I don't know what, I don't know what Avon's numbers are, but I oh, you know what's funny? Before I earned the first trip, mm -hmm. I said to the local employee that at the time they had local employees, I said, um, I'm going to get me one of these trips. I said, do you know? And of course, I was a young 20 something year old living in the single wide trail in a trailer park <laughs> driving a Yugo. The manager says, oh, honey, which I don't like being called honey anyway. But she said, oh, honey, no one's ever earned one of those from here. So, mm, mm, right. And I, it seems I, to me that that means it's about time. I mean, well, when she left, I thought to myself, I, I'm, I'm going to get this trip, whether it kills me and her both. You know what I mean? I, and there's just no way I'm not doing this. So when it came down to it, it was funny because back then I was just telling someone else this back then their thing was we had a big uh, presence club dinner. And we had to go down to Massachusetts because there's not many reps up in New Hampshire. And it was down in Westford, I remember. A big place. They had about 400 reps down there having a big dinner. How they told you whether you got the trip or not was in front of everybody. <gasps> when I find, found that out, I didn't know. We had to guess. We didn't have internet. We didn't have any of that. So you didn't know where you, and you had to be in the top 200 in the country. And I'm 20 something. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have any idea. I'm guessing at how much I need to sell. She thought I only needed, I think it was 3000 or something. I said, there is no way. I knew that there were 450,000 reps. There was no way you're getting in the top 200 with 3000 in sales. I, I, I was young, but I wasn't stupid. In a year? <laughs> no, no. This, this was um, per month. Uh, three campaigns, which is uh, six weeks. Okay. But I knew 3,000 that there's no way that could be true. So right. I, I think I did. Uh, it was like 18,000. I wanted to be safe. And um, right. I sold more than I did. 
ever sold in a year. I sold more during that time. But anyway, so I was pretty sure I might have done it with that. But she said, I said, you need to call them and find out whether I got it or not. She said, oh, no, they're going to surprise down there. I said, I'm telling you, I won't go. She said, you can't. You're, you're carpooling. I said, I swear I'll drop them at the door. <laughs> I said, there is a chance I didn't get this and I am not going to find out I didn't get it in front of a room of 400 of my peers. And <laughs> there is right. no way that I'm having that happen because if I didn't get it, I'm going to be crying and I'm not doing that in front of everybody. <laughs> right. So she, she uh, called me back and said, you got it, but you better act surprised. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I can act really surprised. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was funny that they did it that way. <laughs> but so they they stopped doing it shortly thereafter that. But oh um. yeah, because I I can imagine there were lots of other people who were not ready and willing to do that. So that I find out that way. Yeah. Oh no, no, that's mm, yeah, that's no. And it's not that they announced you didn't get it because they wouldn't have right. announced that no one would know you were working for it. Right. But I worked, of course, 18,000 in six weeks was more than I sold of anything in my whole life. That was a big giant right. commitment. And if I hadn't got it, I'd definitely been crying. <laughs> well, <laughs> and yes. this was don't forget like 88, 1988 or something. So it was oh almost, wow. So that's like the equivalent of, of like doing 25 or 30,000 now. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was oh. a lot of stuff. A lot yeah. of stuff. Oh so, my God! But it was matter of fact, it was. Uh, <laughs> this is some uh, an odd, weird thing that I remember from it is uh, Avon boxes at the time were all the same size. They were square and they looked like bricks, and they okay. had straps. They called them yellow straps. So they'd strap two boxes together, and that trip it took 256 straps. They brought my order in two truckloads. And it was all on my all in my yard, and I was sorting it uh, late at night. And my husband at the time, it's never good when you have to say that right. At the time, yeah, put up step ladders with uh, spotlights because it got dark, and I was still sorting. And believe it or not, my neighbors back then were, um, they were saying stuff like. Why are you always doing stuff like that and setting you up for so yourself up for disappointment and working this hard? But you know, and and, <laughs> and I'm, I'm you Western know down here in the south. I was gonna say down here in the south. Not that I'm truly southern because I'm in St. Louis, but this is the furthest south I've ever lived. Down here, we we say bless your heart, <laughs> and that's our 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 Why very you? nice way of saying f you. You know what we say here, don't you? You said, well, you can say anything you want about somebody as long as you follow it with, and I mean that in the best possible way. <laughs> so you yeah. can say, you ugly slut, and I mean that in the best possible way. So you, <laughs> you, really, it's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> My family's from New England. I forgot about that. And I mean it. In the and I think when you say that slow, it even has more impact. And, oh yeah, and I mean this, and I mean it in the best possible way. <laughs> oh, Peg Duchesne's on. Peg said she oh, wasn't doing Peg. making. She made it. And then Peg. someone said, "What?" Uh, they said, "Sup, Captain? What's up, Captain?" Cat. The whole Captain Platinum thing was the same thing that happened with you, with your branding is, um. In Avon, they're calling me Captain Platinum because when they changed the name of the comp plan, uh -huh. Platinum was the top of the comp plan. And okay. I'd been top for decades. And then when they changed it, I had to requalify. And it was way harder. They had all these things you had to do, a whole big list. And I missed it. Two campaigns, which is two weeks, two campaigns in a row by a teeny amount. So by the time I finally made it, I was so excited and cocky <laughs> that I, I made a bitmoji of myself with a cape. And I said, just call me Captain Platinum. Because <laughs> that was the name of the top of the pay plan. But it, it, people started doing it. It was supposed to be a one-time funny cartoon. And, <laughs> and it's people still were stuck. calling me Captain Platinum. So then I, I had a Captain Platinum moniker made with a thing, and I, I did all kind of stuff with it. And then then they still do introduce me as Captain Platinum at Avon stuff. <laughs> 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 Our own Lisa Captain Platinum. 
and it's hilarious. Oh. And and it's funny because um, it's a self-designated title, of course. <laughs> Right. And it, it gives the impression that I might be number one, which is not true. I'm actually number five. <laughs> so I'm not <laughs> sure that four, three, two, and one see the humor in it. But what do you You know do? what? Frankly, if I were one of them, I'd be like, I'm in front of Cat Captain Platinum. I don't care. <laughs> I am not so worried, you know. You go with it, right? <laughs> yeah, you, just, you take it. So that, that's great. Oh my well, well, I can't believe that half hour went by. We didn't even really embarrass Chef too much. Uh, not you too much. Anything? I'm sure he might have been blushing a little bit. He's probably blushing more from what we posted in the group. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew right when I wrote that. <laughs> you were I was like, something. did she really do that? I was like, no, I can't. I cannot leave oh, this. Then, you know he had to Google it. <laughs> That's why I said he had to go look at the Urban Dictionary. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other people probably did too, because they were like, I don't know what that... <gasps> You know, I, I, I wish that uh, you had been there when, bless his heart, Jeff said to me, what's the DOM stand for? <laughs> and then when I told him, I'm not sure he still, I said, dominatrix. <laughs> and he, he still looked a little bewildered. So I explained yeah. it a little bit further. <laughs> Well, oh, before we go, though, I do have to share, because if if we really want to get Jeff going and everybody else, whoever want, whoever else enjoys blushing, um, I actually my 200th episode on my podcast is coming out on Monday. Oh, good. And for my 200th episode, somebody introduced me to a naked healer out of New Zealand. Well, that's kind of spiffy, though. So you right? all sit around naked and meditate or something? So we did our podcast interview. Naked? In the <laughs> <laughs> oh, so of course what? the camera. I'm going to adjust it. The camera's here. <laughs> I'm going to suggest we do an episode of The Buff. <laughs> I'll do it. I've done it once. Why not another one? Hey. You know, oh, I will have you on a guess, and we'll both be, we'll all three of us. We'll all <laughs> oh my gosh, I had oh. I had so many people who were like, oh my gosh, and they're like, did you record video? I'm like, yeah, we're gonna put it up on YouTube, and they're like, oh, they're like, how can you do that? You, people are gonna know you're naked. I was like, okay, here, I'm gonna share a secret with you right now. Okay, don't <laughs> tell anyone. And they're like, okay, fine. I'm like, I'm naked under my clothes right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like well and if you well, just show your shoulders i mean it's not... <laughs> like people like people are gonna know you're naked i'm like they know i'm naked under my clothes now like <laughs> i don't get the difference like, oh that's so, too funny go find me on on youtube on monday if you oh that's gonna be see perfect naked so your your regular website for to this hooks you to the podcast i think uh, badassdirectsalesmastery.com yep badassdirectsalesmastery.com make sure you go check out her podcast mm -hmm. and i'm going to do the training i'm going to be on there so <laughs> let's all you guys let's all so what jewelry would you wear for that show? <laughs> that's a that's a valid question because I'm Did like, Did I wear any? I was gonna say jewelry whore, but that doesn't sound good. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I, I, but I I'm yeah. still big into uh, I'm still a bling babe for sure. I mean, look yeah, at me. I this got... is an older set that I'm wearing, everybody. This is an Amon oh. set, but it's it's um I would say at least a decade and a half old. Oh, wow. It looks fabulous. I know. I think it kind of looks Egyptian for some reason. I, I it does. I can see that. Yeah. I, I can definitely see that. I like it. I don't know. Really but you know what? But for, <laughs> for the Naked Show, I will put on my biggest blingiest necklace. <laughs> How about that? I've, I've actually got this amazing necklace that is fantastic to wear because you if you put it on tight enough around your head, it looks like a flapper's like, oh, oh, that'd be headband. Neat. 
So oh, I want to do that too. If you wear it as a necklace, it's this, yeah. I mean, it's massive. And I'm five foot nine and it's So if we're doing like the me. naked show, we're going to do a uh, headband. <laughs> <The headband>. Yeah. <laughs> Except I, I've got a request though. If we're gonna do a naked show with Jeff though, he he's got to get waxed or something. Because we- <laughs> <laughs> okay, if that happens, if if he gets waxed, he has to video that. <laughs> I want some of my favorite my favorite YouTube videos and TikToks are videos of men getting waxed. Because <laughs> I'm like, if you can't handle that, there's no way y'all can handle a baby. Oh, geez. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, mm. I think we all know they can't do that, right? <laughs> no, and, and I like that one. Did this, have you seen that Steve Harvey one where the woman in the audience uh, is trying to explain to him what a Brazilian is? And she's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post that in the group. You can see it. But oh, she says please. she does manzillions, and she says he says you take all the hair off down there, and she says yeah, back there too. But he didn't even he missed that. He was so worried about. It. <laughs> and then he says you pull it. <laughs> yeah, and that's just, how waxing works. He just goes. <laughs> I'll put it in. You can see it because it's on want, it's hilarious. But I can see Jeff doing that. That'd be like one. so. Oh we'll gosh. do the naked show if uh, Jeff videos himself doing the wax. Well, we can't leave it for that because he won't do. That. He won't do it. Let, just let him the be oh natural, we- oh natural. <laughs> I wonder if we're talking him into that. He, he's sitting there watching the replay right now going, no. No, I'm not doing that. No. What are you talking about? You'd go shirtless on a beach. Really? It's not like anyone's going to see anything. Are you talking to him now or to me? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking I'm to him. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> he, I, I, he, I, hey, I, I'm going to give you all a heads up on the on the 200th episode. I I dropped the the bomb that I've been to a clothing optional beach. <gasps> oh no, that's awesome! It's it it's yeah, fan freaking tastic. It's Isn't the it most amazing thing yeah. ever because no one cares. Right? No right. one cares. I would love to show off my rack at a beach like that. Oh my god. I yeah. highly recommend it. There's a yeah. fantastic beach in St. Martin. So if you're going on a cruise, hopefully it stops in St. Martin. Oh, that would be fun. And the beach is, it's called Orient Beach. And I've been there twice. Once when I was 20 something and I went, I went topless in the water, but I put the top back on before I came out of the water. Cause I was 20 something mm-hmm. when I had a, an amazing body, amazing boobs. And this time I went there and I was like, Here's all five nine, 185 pounds of May world. Here you go. Like, and nobody cares. <laughs> right. I, you know, I was just saying that to someone last night. And I have big giant windows on one side of my house, and I turn the lights on inside. So if you're standing out there, you can see. You can see. But I world. walk around in here. I don't care because my my theory is, if you went to all the trouble to go there and watch me naked the window, you deserve everything you're getting. <laughs> You know what I mean? You you just do. <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna go to all that work, <laughs> I love it. oh my gosh! Well, so we have our plan in place. We're gonna mm-hmm. do the um, the badass direct sales mastery sales accelerator to get the cruise, and then the next time we do a show together, we're gonna do it buck naked. Oh, I love it. I'm starting a trend. <laughs> I'm well, thank you so track. much, Jenny. I really, Mwah. really appreciate it. Oh. And uh, hopefully we've um, uh, embarrassed Jeff <laughs> enough because we he's, wouldn't want to leave him out of this, really. Oh, no. He, no. He's either hyperventilating from the <laughs> idea of being naked or just from laughing so hard at the idea of being naked. Either <laughs> one. <laughs> Catch your breath, sweets. Jeff. Catch your breath. <laughs> Send him some smelling salts. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> uh, you wait, you wait. I get off the phone. There's going to be a text here in an hour or so. I don't know how quick he's going to read, and it'll just say no. <laughs> you have to screenshot and send it to me. <laughs> oh, we're so bad to him. <laughs> we love you, Jeff. We yes, love we you. Love you we only want to be naked with people we love. <laughs> 
<laughs> except on the beach. That's everybody. <laughs> except on the beach. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> well, okay, everybody. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in the group. I'm gonna put the links to the new classes that we're gonna all do together to get the cruise. Um, I'm also gonna put that link for the Steve Harvey show because you've got to see that. That's hilarious. You tag me. Make that. sure you tag me so I don't miss it. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. And thank you so much. And everybody, make sure you look up her podcast. It's badassdirectsalesmastery.com. And she's got one of the biggest podcasts for direct sellers in the world. Mm -hmm. One of the most acclaimed. So make sure you check that out because you just can't learn enough in this business, really. Any business, mm -hmm. but this one in particular. Exactly. Okay. Thank you for having me again. Oh my gosh, thank I swear you. I never laugh as hard anywhere else <laughs> except when I'm with you guys. So thank you. Mwah. Well, we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye, everybody.